Hello Vine Church, Pastor Brandon here, kicking off another week. Just want to make sure you're plugged in and connected with what's happening at the Vine Church. I uh, want to keep letting you know about our Sunday morning service. We are doing the two service format. We're doing a nine o'clock live service, 11 o'clock Zoom service. We want to make sure to, to, op, uh, to offer options to meet you and your family where you're at during this season. We know that the worship of God, the corporate worship of God is vital and important to the life of the church, to our individual lives. And you can do that through Zoom online. You can do that live on our face-to-face -face live nine o'clock service. We're just providing opportunities for you and your family to continue that worship. And uh, we're, gonna, we're gonna keep using this same option for the foreseeable future. It seems to be working really well for us. Of course, things are changing on a dime. So as things change, we will adapt to them as possible. All of that, looking forward to a day in the future where we can gather everybody together live and be back to our normal Sunday morning worship together. We look forward to that day. In the meantime, we're going to stay strong, stay patient, and just try to be as faithful as we can uh, during this difficult season, knowing God's going to use this season to mature and change us and make us more like Jesus. A couple different ways that we're seeing this take place at the Vine Church. A couple new things that I want to make you aware of. This last week, hopefully you saw on our website, there's a new blog post that we've put out. We've added links to that from our Facebook page and stuff like that. So hopefully you saw a part one of a four-part series that we're going to be doing what we've entitled seeing his grace uh, and what this is is we want to tell the stories about how god is and has been working in the lives of people at the vine church you know much of what we study and learn about god is found in of course the the holy scriptures that teach us about stories of how god has worked in lives of people from thousands of years ago what we want to do in this seeing his grace series is show you how that same God who worked in the lives of people then is the same God that works in people's lives today and people's lives that are deeply connected to you, uh, closely connected in our church. And so like, I think it's gonna be encouraging to get to know other people in our church better through these stories, but also just to be encouraged and challenged in developing our faith as we see how God is working in these other people's lives and has worked in their lives. So check out part one. Part one came out last week. This Wednesday, you're going to see part two of Becky Davies' story coming out. It's going to be a four-part series for the next uh, next few weeks after this. Engage it, uh, read it up, and and share some comments and thoughts. Uh, and let's just let's interact with that together. Um, another thing I want to throw out is just a huge encouragement: is that uh, we continue to be as a church very generous towards our community care fund. Uh, we have raised up to this point fourteen thousand six hundred dollars. Like that is. An amount of money that should just be celebrated and thankfulness to God and thankfulness to God's people for the generosity that God's put in our, in our hearts and just thank you thank you for your generosity every bit of that money is going to be used and a good portion of it has been used to care for people in our church and around our church up to this point ten thousand five hundred of those fourteen thousand dollars has been used already to care for people to care for people's rent and and food and, and other things like that. Um, not just in our church, but it has been for people in our church, but also like our church is connected to other people, your family, your friends, your neighbors, and we wanna care for them as well, that as the church as a whole gets behind you in caring for the people around you, that is a gospel witness to those people you're connected to. And it gives you more and more opportunity to build relationships, to be a a gospel witness to the to the good news of Jesus Christ in the lives of those people. So it's just amazing to see the church come together like this. I think this is just kind of like a catalyst starting point for us in our generosity to continue to just move forward in this. And so I think uh, while we're going through a rough season with the pandemic right now and everything else going on, God uses those rough seasons to mature his saints. And there's multiple signs that that's taking place at the vine. Generosity is one of those. Patience is another one. Unity is another one. And we're just going to keep seeking the Lord and how he's changing us during the season. And we're just going to try to be as faithful and patient as we can with him as we ride out this season and also know that God is maturing us through that process. So hopefully you have a great week. Enjoy some of the nice 70s and sunshine you're going to get. And we'll see you again this Sunday for our worship, whether the 9 o'clock live service or the 11 o'clock Zoom. We'll see you again this Sunday. Hope you have a great week. We'll see you then.